I wonder how long Drake can uh, keep up the the simping. Who can keep up? Drake. Because at uh, some point, when you're like 40 and you're still simping, it's like, dude, come on. Uh, that's kind of what R&B was, right? It was simping on loving. Yeah, but, you know, R&B historically has been sung by like younger younger guys in their 20s, you know? Drake's kind of getting up there. So they were just the, the R&B I'm thinking of is just those young guys that got old and are still talking about it. But I don't know. Who the, what the fuck am I saying? Like, Drake could always I, fucking do whatever. A lot of people enjoy the, the simp sentiment. So as long as people can catch a feeling through it. I can I can 100% see the appeal of this album to women. It, it is a bunch of women emojis. It can't be all organic because you, you've seen people memes and they have their like own meme of the, the Drake version cover. Yeah. And I swear they got like a, at least just a little bit of like shill marketing team to pop, pop out the memes first to get it percolating. And then other there has to be. But, you know, I, I, I kind of feel like that's more like that's more like on the, the record label side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Fuck. Like, how would you even I don't know. How would you even fucking promote that? Just be like, just slap these emojis everywhere. Put them on buses and shit. You just make memes, dude. You buy buy someone's spot on a meme page. You do a celebrity. You do basically celebrities and page with a lot of traffic. And then eventually, because it's also super easy to make a replica of that kind of, you just kind of, you can, especially on an iPhone, if you're just doing different emoji, you get different color emoji. And then from there, it's like, oh, this is now a, a trending topic. So other companies are going to hop on. Have you noticed that most, uh, I don't know if it's on Spotify, but at least on Apple Music, most album art is animated now. Really? Yeah. Like the Drake that. emojis are like looking around and stuff. Like while you're scrolling through? No, like you it. when you're just, when you click it and you just see the list of songs. Or and I also, I think maybe when you play it, maybe not when you play it, but when you're like browsing. I know Spotify has like GIFs for when you're playing something on certain songs. You can upload that as a Spotify creator too. I wonder if that's going to be the, uh, like the norm. Like your, your album art has to be animated now. I think kind of now, at least if if I'm posted on Spotify and I'm an artist, I'm at least having a couple of songs that are, are animated videos. Speaking of album art, you know what I hate? Pet peeve of mine? Yeah, tell when me. someone makes an album art cover, and let's say that's the only thing they contributed to the body of art as a whole, the album. Okay. okay. And then they call themselves the creative director. No. First of all, the creative director was the fucking artist, like the the actual artist and secondly i mean you can make might it, not be the artist if you're you, kind of a young kid on a label or, like there's actual creative directors like lamar taylor is the weekend's creative director and he's great and he actually does like creative director work but like if you like if somebody does like album art for a single not a single an album for like a rapper yeah and they say creative direction by me and it's like bro i'm sure you weren't in the studio helping this guy write verses or like on the set helping them film videos they did the direction of the creativity, art wise. They they followed the they followed the instructions of the uh, that too. But that's like that's like one step of like the like if I if I directed all the videos for an album, I'd be offended. I'd be like, what? Why well, aren't I the creative director at least or the co-creative director? Are you seeing this of like like kind of bigger names or just kind of SoundCloud rappers? Mostly smaller names. In that case, these people that are the artists might just have like that could be the only creative <laughs> creativity that they're doing with their their rollout. I don't know, I'll just say like album art by graphic yeah. design. I don't know. Yeah, graphics. I mean, what, what I'm sure on the track listing of like big industry records, there's probably a legit tag that says cover art by J Smoothie and the B. Cover art by Indian design firm LLC Outsource Inc. Look at this freaking emoji thing. I wonder whose idea it was to put the pregnant emojis because those are new emojis. Those haven't even been released yet, I think. It's, it's very label y to me. I feel like Drake wouldn't have been like, you know, these emojis would be fire. There's definitely like another cover before and 
that. There's at least uh, like three meetings. <laughs> What's the feeling of this album? Yeah, do we want it to be like Drake's face? Do we want it to be like? Yeah, what if we just do like uh, emojis up there on a white screen? These emojis are fucking fire, dude. Apple just sent us the pack. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I'm saying it was. I feel like it was more of like, yeah, let's make some memes. Cause like they they memed out views, they memed out kind of where his head's on the table of kind of like making simp memes or whatever. But this one they're like, yo, we could literally make a trend of people can uh, mimic this easily. So let's do that. I wonder if Apple's gonna sue the pants off Drake. I was gonna say use this opportunity to make a commercial. 